the Lord himself will fight for you just stay calm let that soak in right now let's let it soak in let's breathe in and out as we let that powerful verse soak in I'm going to read it again the Lord himself will fight for you just stay calm this might be a familiar passage to many of you guys who are listening and, it, and then to some it may not be but one thing for sure is such a comforting scripture that we all need daily good morning you know the cares of life can just make us frazzle frustrated fretting all those f's fearful the cares of life the issues the struggles the challenges that we face on a daily basis can have us just going crazy have us losing our mind but I'm so glad to know I'm so grateful that the Lord wanted to encourage me today and I'm encouraging you you all today that the Lord said he will fight for us he says I will fight for you Put your name in that spot for you. The Lord himself will fight for Ravonda. Amen. Just stay calm. <laughs> oh my God. Just stay calm. He got this. You know why we get all frustrated, fretting, fearful, frazzled? Because we try to do things that God said we're not supposed to do that we have no control of doing it we try to do things that not supposed to be done in our own strength human strength our wars our battles the things that we fight spiritual battles even physical battles, mental battles, financial battles, emotional battles, mental battles, any type of any type of resistance you may be having. The Lord is comforting us. The Lord is telling us. The Lord is reminding us that he himself will fight for us it doesn't say I'm gonna fight for you but you got to help me it doesn't say we're gonna fight together he makes it clear every word every dot every period every colon every comma every punctuation every word in the Bible in the Word of God has a purpose and if the Lord said the Lord himself will fight for you, he means just that. He doesn't mean I'm going to fight a little bit and then you come and help me out. I'm only, I'm only going to do so much. No. He says the Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Let me show you this. Let me tell you this. This is when Moses and the Israelites are in the desert. I believe it comes to the part when they're coming to the Red Sea and they're going crazy. Oh my God, the Egyptians are after us. Mad at Moses, mad at God, mad at themselves. Can you relate? Mad at everybody because somebody <laughs> tried to, wanted to deliver them, wanted to bring them freedom, wanted to liberate them. Instead of celebrating, trusting, walking by faith, and allowing the Lord to lead them through Moses. 
They got mad at Moses. What did you do? You brought us out here to kill us. They were afraid. They were frightened. They were frazzled. They were frustrated. They were fretting. But they were right there at the Red Sea. And behind them were their enemies. Isn't that a battle? Like no other, they've been released from captivity. The Lord freed them. Now the Lord is guiding them and leading them to their promised land. And they come to this wall, the Red Sea wall. On, in front of them is the Red Sea. On the left and right of them, nothing but desert. And behind them, their enemies are getting closer and closer. Does that does that feel like you? I know it feels like me sometimes when I'm in the middle of a battle. When it seems like everything is breaking loose. When it feels like my world is falling apart, the bottom of the floor is caving in. I start getting mad at myself, getting mad at God, getting mad at people <laughs> who love me, just taking my frustration and fear out on everybody around me. And that's what the Israelites were doing. And the Lord spoke to Moses and said, the Lord himself will fight for you just stay calm that's powerful so I want to encourage you today no matter what you're going through no matter what battle you're facing no matter what issues challenges what Red Sea you may be having what enemies no matter what enemies may be trying to take you down no matter what, I want to encourage you to just stay calm. The Lord said it, not me. He said, just stay calm. How do we stay calm? We're reading his word, reading it over and over again. The Lord himself will fight for me. The Lord himself will fight for me. The Lord goes before me. The Lord is keeping me. The Lord is my protection. The Lord can't be counted on. The Lord is dependable. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is merciful. The Lord is the provider. He is my provider. The Lord is my protection. He is my shield and buckler. The Lord is my healer. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is everything that I need. Everything. Even in the midst of the valley. Even in the midst of the death. The Lord is still my God and he's all that I need. So I want to encourage you to go read Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, 14 and 14. And be comforted and reminded about what the Lord says. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. God bless you.